Well, the science of the tiny can have a huge impact on areas such as improving health care and helping to tackle energy and pollution problems. Yet, in addressing these issues, there are questions on whether in solving one problem, we actually create another. Just over a year ago, Berkeley, California passed legislation regulating the disposal of nanomaterials, in part over fears that because nanoparticles are so small, they could have adverse effects on human health and even our environment. Now, such a backlash against this new technology is especially evident in the European Union, where scientists are still dealing with opposition to genetically altered food. At the European Open Science Forum in Munich, Germany, scientists from around the world gathered to discuss concerns over what is now a $7 billion industry and still growing. Although the technology is still in its infancy, already there are over 70 food-related nanotech applications headed to the market items that, while man-made, would be small enough to incorporate into ordinary foods. I think the dangers we face with nanotechnology are some of the uncertainties of nanoparticles getting into the lungs or being absorbed directly through the skin. So I think that uh, one is, uh, got to, one's got to be a little bit cautious. And Peter Dobson should know. A leading nanoscientist at Oxford University, Dobson is a proponent of nanotech, but knows much of the science is still uncharted territory. I think the dangers uh, with nanotechnology is um, nanoparticles um, could behave a little bit like asbestos. Measuring just one billionth of a meter, nanoparticles are so small they can go anywhere. Still, scientists like Dobson believe any risk, if properly monitored, will be well worth the benefits nanotechnology offers. All the time, those of us engaged in the pure research are asking these extra questions. Well, so far, no problems have been reported with food products made using nanotechnology, but a cleaning product was recalled after consumers complained of respiratory problems after using it.